I'm here with Yokan, who is the winner of the Super Smash Brothers tournament at this year's event. And Yokan, we have a few questions. So first off there, uh, when did you get into Smash Brothers? How did that happen? Uh, I've been playing Smash for a very long time since I was a kid with my friends playing uh, Melee in his attic. But um, I never really started really getting into the game until like my sophomore year of high school when um, me and my friends would play Smash 4 on our like DSs in the hallway. Yeah, yeah, every so often it does come back there. And of course the newest version is Smash Ultimate, which is what this tournament used. Uh, what was kind of the basic structure of the tournament? How was it set up? Um, I think it was like a 130 person bracket somewhere around there and it was double elimination. Um, best of five for winners finals and on. Um, standard stage list, uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much there. I mean, you even had, I saw some folks using the Piranha Plant, which just came out as DLC. So uh, you mostly played as Ganondorf during this year's tournament. Uh, why don't you tell the folks at home about the, uh, why you chose that character? Well, uh, Ganondorf's been my boy since day one. I started with Ganondorf, and I've been true to him ever since. Um, and he's really fun in this game. He plays more like melee in this game. He's faster. His aerials are a lot faster. And uh, initially, when I started playing Ultimate, I wanted to drop him because he wasn't so good in the other games. But he seems to have potential in this game, so I just stuck with him. Uh, what were the finals like? Who, what, was your, uh, what was that matchup like? The finals were interesting. Finals and semifinals, I had to play, and grand finals, I had to play uh, all Pokemon trainers. I don't know why, they're pretty prevalent. I guess Pokemon trainers are pretty popular here. Um, and that matchup is interesting because it's like playing three different characters at once. But uh, regardless of the different characters, the person itself normally has a similar playstyle. So it doesn't matter if you can switch between like different Pokemon because you can still read similar habits. And so that's how I won, is I just studied my opponent, um, got the advantage, won game one, kind of put him on tilt, and uh, took it from there. Very interesting matchup there. I guess you got some good practice there. In addition to the, uh, to the folks there, I also saw actually uh, there was some uh, like Pichu being played by a few uh, folks out there. I think I saw some Greninja, maybe even an Incineroar or two. Very well represented in this game. All right, well, what else are you doing at this year's convention? What are you doing at Anime Milwaukee 2019? Uh, I'm turning up, uh, going to a lot of panels. Um, gonna go to the rave tonight, hanging out with my friends, uh, and eating food. Yeah, there's some great food down here in downtown Milwaukee uh, where this uh, convention is. All right, well, thank you very much. This has been Stephen Reich from Anime Milwaukee 2019.